Now in this video, we will see one more example on converting from NFA to DFA. Now you will see how to convert this NFA to DFA. So first of all, what you need to write? You need to write the transition table for the given NFA diagram. How many input symbols are there? 0 and 1. What are the states? The initial state is Q0. One more state is Q1. And one more state is Q2. And this is the final state. So now you see, the what are the next moves on applying 0 and 1, Q0, Q1, Q2? Are applying 0 and Q0, you are going to Q0 only. And applying 1 and Q0, you are going to Q1 only. Now again, are applying on seeing 0 and Q1, you are going to Q1 and also you are going to Q2. On seeing 1 on Q1, you are going to Q1 only. Here I am writing this uh, transition table from the given diagram. So what happens if you apply 0 on Q2, you are going to Q2 only, just Q2 only. What happens if you apply 1 and Q2, you are going to Q2 as well as Q1. That means Q1, Q2. So you can write in the same order, in some order, Q1, Q2. So this is the way of writing the transition table for the given NFA. This is transition table for the for the NFA. Now, from this transition table, you have to construct the transition table for the DFA. So, first of all, initial, what you need to write? You need to identify the initial state for the DFA. Whatever is the initial state in NFA, the same initial state will be applicable to DFA also. So, this is the initial state. So, just to differentiate NFA and DFA, we are representing the states with square brackets. So, what are the symbols? 0 and 1. Here, this is an input, this is a Q. Now, you see, what happens if you apply 0 and Q0? What happens if you apply 0 and Q0? You are going to Q0 only. Now, you are going to Q0 only, same state. Now, you see, what happens if you apply 1 and Q0? In NFA transition table, you are going to Q1. You write the same, Q1. Now, now out of these two states, which one is the new one? Q0 is already discussed. Now what the new one is? Q1. Now you write Q1 here. Now you write Q1 here. Now apply 0 and Q0. So what happens if you apply 0 and Q1? 0 and Q1 you are going to Q1, Q2. That means you have obtained a new combined state Q1, Q2. Now you see what happens if you apply 1 and Q1? If you apply 1 and Q1 you are going to Q1 only. You are going to Q1 only. Now you see here, out of these two states, which one is the new one? Here this Q1 is already discussed. Now the new one is Q1, Q2. Q1, Q2 is the new combined state which we got right now. Now you check, what happens if you apply 0 and Q1, Q2 from the given NFA transition table? So now, what happens if Q1, Q2 on 0 is equal to Delta of Q1 comma 0 union delta of Q2 comma 0. So Q1 comma 0, where you are going? If you apply 0 and Q1, where you are going? You are going to Q, Q1, Q2. You are going to Q1, Q2. And applying 0 and Q2, where you are going? You are going to Q2. You are going to Q2. Now, after combining, this will be Q1 and Q2 only. Now, the same state, the same state, Q1, Q2. Now, again, you have to check for input symbol 1, delta of Q1, Q2 on 1 equal to delta of Q1, comma 1, union, delta of q2 comma 1 
Now you look at Tyson table of NFA. So now what happens if you apply 1 and Q1, you are going to Q1 only. You are going to Q1 only. Q1 union. What happens if you apply 1 and Q2, you are going to Q1, Q2. So now of combining, you got Q1, Q2 only. That means you got the same state. Q1, Q1, Q2 only. Now here, you have to write Q1, Q2 only. Now you look at this row. Here Q1, Q2 is already discussed. Q1, Q2 is already discussed. There is no new state generated in this process. Now, the number of states in the given DFA for the equivalent NFA is Q0, Q1 and Q0, Q1. So these are the three states which are generated for the equivalent DFA from the given NFA. So this is the transition table for the NFA. Now from this transition table, we will construct the DFA. So now what are the states? The states are Q0 and second one is Q1 and third one is Q1, Q2. Now what is the initial state? Whatever is the initial state in NFA, the same will be the initial state in DFA. Now what will be the final state? Here in NFA Q2 is the final state. So the states linked with Q2 will be the final state. Now we will define the moves from the DFA. So what happens if you apply 0 on Q0, you are going to Q0 only. You are going to Q0 only. Now if you apply 1 on Q0, where you are going? You are going to Q2. You are going to, sorry, Q1. You are going to Q1. What happens if you apply 0 on Q1, you are going to Q1, Q2. If you apply 0 on Q1, you are going to Q1, Q2. If you apply 1 on Q1, you, are, you will be on the same state. So now, now what happens if you apply 0 on Q1, Q2, you are going to the same state. And also for 1, you are going to the same state. Now this is the diagram for the NFA equivalent DFA. So, this is the procedure of converting any NFA into its equivalent DFA. This is not a uh, tough task. You can easily convert. It is just simple procedure. Here I have explained. You please follow carefully. Then practice it. Definitely you will understand how to convert from NFA to the DFA. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Again, I will explain some more examples in the next videos.